Hey there friends and enemies, Jopi here again and today I need to talk about No Man's Sky as it just might be the very best time to jump into the game for the first time if you haven't already or return to the game if you're a lapsed player and that's wild to think about considering the game is 8 years old but that's how good the latest update is is and i'm going to talk about the update what's coming this week as well but first this is the best comeback in video game history in my personal opinion they continue to add new free updates that are awesome and completely reimagine the game which is insane after all this time gives me a lot of hope for light no fire and the longevity of that game as well but also the game has been on sale on steam and other platforms for a while as well so if you're looking to pick it up you'd be foolish not to in my opinion now as far as the no man's sky worlds part one update there is a total overhaul of water and cloud rendering as well as other significant quality improvements and optimizations now this update is quite frankly insane maybe the best water physics of any game currently out right now and the cloud rendering is so seamless you can travel from the ground to the sky to the space and it just looks so flawless it's crazy right now how good it actually is and the immersion levels are really through the roof at this point which is really important for someone like me who is not a traditional survival game player but this game has sucked me in with the world building that they don't need a lot of uh, voice acting anything like that it just sucks me in through pure exploration which is crazy now uh, blue boosted planetary variety with new biomes new creatures color and lighting changes and much more the biomes are great there are storms as well but the creatures are what excites me the most the game has such unique looking alien creatures that really feel like they are plucked from a sci-fi world and out of someone's wildest imagination and i think that's so fantastic because sometimes alien creatures can look like knockoff versions of creatures we see on earth but instead these creatures look entirely unique and so out there that i am just fascinated i could travel around some of these new locations and just check out all the creatures there was one part when i was playing where my sh my screen starts shaking and off in the distance there's like a giant doom looking sandworm traveling through the ground and it looks insane and i'm just honestly in awe i know i'm glazing the game a lot at this point but to be honest it is well deserved with how much they've done with this free update now new gameplay features including solar ship crafting aquatic landings that's crazy landing on water by the way doing it and pulling it off is kind of wild i know the game kind of lands for you but just watching it as it lands is, is absolutely insane to me discovery renaming new hostile creatures and more that's another thing i normally like a lot more combat in games when i play and this is one that has resisted that a lot yes there has always been combat yes there's also space combat which i do enjoy it's just they have really not leaned into that as much as i would normally like but that doesn't bother me in no man's sky because of how gorgeous the world is because of the unique creatures and how rewarding exp exploration is and just trying to find new locations that look completely unlike anything else in any other game now what i am really looking forward to with the world's update is the next expedition these are always a ton of fun and almost a shame that they are limited time but this drops on wednesday wednesday and is called liquidators it is a unique action-packed experience with a raft of exclusive rewards this one they have said is based off of starship troopers and after playing an absolute ton of Helldivers earlier this year, I'm excited to find another game to satisfy my bug-killing itch. And I'm really looking forward to checking this out, trying to earn some of the rewards as well. And that's something that I think they do very, very well. It's limited in time, but also encourages you to jump in and check it out and come back to the game while these expeditions are live. And this one is looking like it's going to play much differently than any of the other expeditions in the past which i think is a good thing 
ultimately this is one for those of you who are into a bit more com combat heavy experiences and whereas no man's sky doesn't normally provide that this is a good opportunity plus it's always good to jump in with friends maybe I, you're like me i have friends who love the crafting and uh, survival aspects of the game whereas i can do most of the combat fighting uh, action heavy type of stuff in a game like this so it's a perfect opportunity to team up with some friends and uh, check it out for yourself i'm really looking forward to jumping into the expedition myself later this week now overall I just absolutely love what they've done with this game. All the free updates over the course of eight years is wild. The fact that they've never charged for any of these, whereas they definitely could have done like DLC or expansions or something of that nature if they so chose. It's honestly shocking how they can do this. And it's just a testament to how these studios who are controlled by shareholders, they are so quick to pull the plug on a game and now you see no man's sky is not only in one of the one of the more top played games on steam but also a top seller eight years later so there is hope for these types of games that can stick around long term if the developers are given a chance to continue on with this vision with their vision because honestly this game was so far off what they had promised when it first launched it's insane to think how far they've come and how many of these updates have just been completely free and overhauled the game in ways we could have never imagined anyway that's going to do it for me i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see more no man's sky world's content from me let me know in the comments down below i might do a bunch with the uh expedition this week so definitely stay tuned for that if you are so inclined but anyway my name is jopa i hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe have a good one i'll catch you all later